Welcome. This is James Durr, your host for the San Antonio Entertainment Show, heard every Saturday at 5 p.m. on 9.30 a.m. The Answer. Uh, I have a very special guest today is Maggie Thompson. She's executive director mm -hmm. with the San Antonio Riverwalk Association. Great. You got it. There you go. I'm an Aggie, <laughs> class of 1983, so you, there may be some mess-ups during this interview, but uh, just consider the source. Okay, well, I'm a Longhorn. But we're friends. Where, where is he? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, actually, actually, I've come from a mixed house. My daughter's yeah. a Longhorn. My uh -huh. son's an Aggie, and uh, yeah. and fortunately, that we only just have two kids, that we don't have any TCU Horn <laughs> Frogs or anything. So we're 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 good. You're good. Yeah. So we're good. So thank you so much. This is a, a incredible opportunity to have you on the uh, the show, the San Antonio Entertainment Show. At such a busy time of year, I know you had to rearrange your schedule to get here to, to make this happen because everything's going on. And we're going to talk a little bit this segment about the history of the San Antonio Riverwalk Association. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the purpose of it. We're going to talk about how you can join, how you can be supported, and how you can be a friends of the Riverwalk. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're we're uh, various big supporters. My my family's uh, friends of the Big Ben, which <laughs> is now the Fr Big Ben Conservancy. Yeah. So I know about friends groups, and they're so vitally important to the to to keeping things uh, uh, vital and keeping things, uh, you know, maintaining San Antonio and and keeping the reputation of the Riverwalk, yeah, you know, number great. one, and it's such that's such good work. So I, I, I'm talking too much. Tell me about. The Riverwalk Association. Well, sure. Well, I'm glad you're going to be our friend, too. There Not you go. just Big Ben's. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Get a little bit in there. Well, I'll tell you about the Riverwalk. The history, gosh, it's got a great history. It was envisioned by an architect named Robert Hugman mm -hmm. back in the 20s when it flooded, and they wanted to pave it over because downtown it killed about 21 people. And um, he envisioned a beautiful Riverwalk with stores and hotels and restaurants. Mm -hmm. And uh, they marched on City Hall and kept it from being cemented in and made it happen. Wow. So what would it have mm -hmm. done if they, if they cemented it in? Would it just kind of, was there another tributary would it go around? Yeah, or just? yeah. It would have just gone a different path wow, down south, yeah. So just the, the kind of the horseshoe part, yeah. That is amazing. So it is. So the, the city of San Antonio, where it is today, the seventh mm -hmm. largest city in, in mm -hmm. the United States, mm -hmm. is because of the Riverwalk. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and the military. In the military. But, uh, and, and tourism. Yeah, and tur but just Riverwalk brings Yeah, but, but it is. It's such a vital yeah. part, and it's, it brings such awareness to, to South Texas mm -hmm. and San Antonio as a Riverwalk. So 1920? Well, said? that's when he envisioned it. So okay. it's uh, it didn't get going until it ended up being finished in 1941 after Depression money, okay. Works Progress mm -hmm. money. They built it for about $450,000. Wow. Isn't that amazing? And I think in today's dollars, it's about three or four million dollars. Yeah. Was that the uh, CCC? The uh, or WPA. Or well, yeah, w WPA. WPA. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Roosevelt. So did. can you see some of that original? It's uh, all there. Yes. The stairwells, the, the stonework. It's all yes, the same. That's all from WPA money. $450,000. Wow. Amazing. Then now it would yeah. be 450 yeah. million Yo, it would be. You know, it, th that would plant one flower bed. No, it would be. <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's just <laughs> yes, amazing. Right. And then in the 60s, when okay. we had Hemisphere, and right. you know, they built the tower, there were only eight businesses down there. Eight, not very many. Eight. And that's what brought um, economic impact. The city invested quite a bit of money in putting hotels and more restaurants. And from then it grew. And yeah. that was 1968. That was 50 years ago. And that's when our association started was in 1969. So we've been here 50 years, 50 years. to bring people down to the Riverwalk. And so um, about 14 million people to the river visited every year mm -hmm. and we are the number one tourist attraction in the state there you it, go. It, when you talked about financial impact to the city it brings in about three and a half billion dollars of impact to the okay, city wait a billion or a million a billion or? with a b billion with a b yeah and that's that's from a study a few years ago so it's probably more than that now there you go so um, uh, tell us about i mean the river walk but mm -hmm. uh, we're going to talk about in the next segment we're going to talk about Events mm -hmm. and I noticed you have events at the at, 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 in Bernie and all over the place. Right, so right. people can join the Riverwalk Association. I mean, businesses. Mm -hmm. You start out with five businesses on the Riverwalk. In that, yeah, and then, and then yeah. And so now, how many do you have now? We do. We're an association, a membership-based association, and okay. most of our members are people that operate or businesses that operate down on the Riverwalk hotels, restaurants, stores. Mm -hmm. um, but because we're such a big tourist attraction, um, we promote events and businesses all over that are close by. We talked about Bernie or mm -hmm. Cascade Caverns, right. uh, all over the place, SeaWorld, 
Six Flags. They're all members of our association. Because the key to a vibrant tourism uh, uh -huh. uh, environment is having where a tourist can spend multiple days. Yes. So somebody mm -hmm. may spend a couple of days on the mm -hmm. Riverwalk, mm -hmm. or, and then they go to SeaWorld for, mm -hmm. for a day, they go to Bernie for a mm -hmm. day, mm -hmm. they go maybe even to the Hill Country. Absolutely. So it's a purpose, it's a, I mean, it's important to have several things that can, can lengthen that stay. Mm -hmm. So they come in for conventions. Mm -hmm. And they stay a day or two before, a day or two after, and they mm -hmm. go to SeaWorld, they go all over. They go to all those places, and we're such a big convention center uh, or city now mm -hmm. also for that reason, exactly as you described it. So you'd be the perfect guest well, in no, our I, city. I'm so born and bred in Corpus Christi. vacations. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've only been in San Antonio <laughs> for seven years, okay. and so I'm still mm -hmm. learning that. So I, that's why I love the entertainment shows. Yeah. I, I get to learn so much about San Antonio. Mm -hmm. but, but Corpus Christi is similar, you know. Yeah. But mm -hmm. Corpus Christi doesn't have the breadth of what San right. Antonio has. Right. Uh, you know, they have a lot of outdoor, uh, you know, um, sporting. In you, the know, ocean. you like to fish, you <laughs> like to surf, you like to hunt. The yeah. Corpus is a great place, but not everybody wants to do that mm -hmm. on their vacations mm -hmm. with the family. And, uh, but, uh, oh, yeah, so, you know, we had somebody on the other day about kayaking mm -hmm. on the river. Mm -hmm. So there are so many different now things you, you can, can do. Now you can do that. You yeah, can't do mission, it. Yeah, the mission trails. Yeah, mission down at yeah. Yeah, Mission Reach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, can, you can kayak there now, and it's fun. So but, that's yeah. the amazing thing about the San Antonio River Walk. Mm -hmm. You have the Mission Reach. Mm -hmm. You have the, the, what do you call the main Me river walk? Uh, uh, we're the main the part. Main we walk. call it the horseshoe because it looks like a horseshoe. And then we have uh, Museum Reach right, that goes up to the Pearl and past the San Antonio Museum of Art. Right. Yeah, and that's a beautiful place to walk. Oh. Uh, you can ride your bike down on the Mission Reach. So right. Bike Share, they do that. They have a lot of kiosks mm -hmm. that you can do that. Yeah. And um, the Pearl also has some kiosks, but at that part, you cannot ride your bike. But it's a beautiful place to walk. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm spoiled. I live right by the Pearl. So I get to walk yeah, and run on the walk, river walk yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how many lights are we going to have this, or how many lights are there right now? Right now? Well, we we always turn them on. Big ceremony. It was very cool this year. The day after Thanksgiving, right. we have our big parade. We had our 39th one this year, wow. Fort Holiday River Parade. And um, Billy F. Gibbons, we have to put the F in there, with the lead singer for ZZ Top. He was our grand marshal. Right. So he lit the river walk with Alexa. He told Alexa to turn on the lights. Oh, we were he? very high very tech high this tech. year on the river walk. Yeah, so yeah. And everything worked. <laughs> yeah, they planned. all turned on, and they're all on. They're around 200,000 lights. Um, wow. Yeah. Up on the river. Well, I'm going to correct that. They're about 100,000 lights. Well, you know, you say 100,000. Sorry. Yeah, they're about 100,000 no, lights. I think, I think you're undercounting. Yeah. I saw that I think statistic. it's 122,000 is really what it is. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, I mean, <laughs> when you go there on the river walk, it seems like millions of lights. Yeah, it's very I mean, twinkly. It's, I, I saw that figure on your website the other day, mm -hmm. 100,000 lights. And I'm, I've been saying yeah. earlier on other pro on earlier programs is a million lights. And well, that's what it looks it like. It looks like it, it looks good. like it. So, yeah. You know, so you maybe, know, I love how we do it, though, that there we pay somebody to, there are about 200 trees, and there's a bin for each tree. And a man and his wife, they go through each bin and test all the lights, make mm -hmm. sure it's correct. And they label which tree it goes to, and the city hangs them. And yeah, you, it's it, just a labor of love. Yeah. And if you'd like to see it, you can go to the the riverwalkassociation yeah. com. Or, or oh, the, the San Antonio Riverwalk. The San Antonio com. Dot com. Mm -hmm. And you can actually see some gorgeous pictures yes, it's of the really Riverwalk beautiful. and it lit up. But I'm down and ride the boats now and go on a nighttime cruise. And we're going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. We've got about 10 seconds left. Okay. Uh, go to the San Antonio, San Antonio Riverwalk. Riverwalk com. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll talk to you right after the break.